All right, so in this whole video, um, I'm going to perform you guys a weekly uh, general tarot reading for a Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and as well a uh, Libra Rising for the upcoming week, um, October 5th to October 11th, 2020. So uh, bear with me to shuffle the cards, and we're going to move right into it. Right. So uh, the first card, which pretty much does describe what you're going to go through uh, the week here, we do have Justice and it's kind of accompanied with uh, the Five of Swords. So that's a pretty clear message for you, Libra. You do got to do things that you have to do. I mean, there is no other way around it. Now, with those two cards, uh, there are a few things uh, that uh, we can say here. First of all, uh, you are going to get exactly what you are working for, okay? Uh, that includes, uh, how can I say? Well, take it that way, that you are going to get the material aspect of what you are working for. It's very difficult to describe because those two cards here points that should you push relentlessly, towards something you want, you are definitely going to have it. For the only thing that scales for you in the universe throughout that week, it is how much effort you throw in, regardless of what kind of um, entity those efforts are, right? So it's pretty much what the cards are telling you it is that you can play dirty. It's, it's all that they are saying to you, okay? Uh, another aspect of those two cards here it is that you are to face quite a lot of responsibilities and you have to be quite uh, aware of how far your mm, limit stretches not to take any responsibilities that you do not have the, uh, the ability to finalize a foot throughout the week itself. And that's why you are to need some sort of an astute discernment, uh, discernment I'm sorry, of which thing you should undertake and which thing you should rather pass on because some of the aspects that could be offered to you either regarding career or either regarding relationship um they're pretty much are going to be too big of a piece for you to chew down and to chew up and swallow down right so be mindful of uh, what you are throwing yourself into for you may find yourself shooting yourself in the foot now the next uh, card here shows what acts what acts against you or what is holding you down I, i'm not surprised having this card but let's see what the company is it that is going to be the accompanied of the nine of um of the nine of swords let me put these cards a little bit up because we are running out of space here, right? So uh, the King of One, the King of Cups, and sorry, with uh, the Nine of Swords, it kind of like uh, does represents a person who is um, afraid what they're gonna do when you are not around anymore. You know, you are now start dealing with your own stuff here as the week demands from you, and they don't see that much of an influence from your behalf in their life. Uh, it's a it's a typical performance of people that are used of you to be around, say, your husband, say, your wife, you know, say, a co-worker that they always seeks you for advice. But you as you are to be preoccupied throughout the week, you are not going to be around. And what that person is going to try to do here is uh, to kind of like try they will try to take a participation into into your own private and personal things okay into your own private and personal projects into your own private and personal relationships and that's as you might guess here is only going to lead to a detriment to those things as for they wait for you to resolve them and everybody else that does not have any relation to those things whatsoever is only going to play you know um can I say a backseat role? It's pretty much is going to pull you back. It's pretty much is going to be a, a millstone that will hang on your neck, dragging you down. And you definitely don't want to have such a person. And the worst thing it is because this is such a formation here with the Nine of Swords. It is that they don't realize 
but they are hurting you that way, okay? For them, it's completely natural to be around because they count you as a friend or even more, they may count you as a lover and within their minds, helping you is the first thing Thing that it's logical for them, all right? It, it, it's completely natural, but what they do not see is that they can't help you. As a matter of fact, they're just only making the things worse, uh, worse around, okay? So it will be pretty, um, pretty important whenever you kind of like start experiencing that infiltration from this uh, man or a woman here to be pretty straightforward with them and just to ask them to bail back at least for the time being uh, for the time being until the week is over and that you do have to deal with that thing with these things um, alone it's uh, it's just what it is so uh, moving next these are the things that actually helps you move forward that, that this is the things that you gotta aim to do moving forward and we do have the three of uh, wands here wow with the six of wands so that is a pretty explosive thing that we do have here and uh, first of all uh, the the three of wands with the six of wands speaks that you um should be proud of yourself it's all that there is and and whatever you have accomplished thus far is gonna serve as a pretty good pattern from you to trampling yourself propel yourself moving forward skyrocket yourself if you will but what is important as well is remember i spoke here about limitations but these cards are touching on the limitations subject just so far before those things came around and so we do have an additional aspect to the limitations that came with the justice and the five of swords and it kind of speaks that you have to analyze how far your limitation stretches for now for you can definitely challenge those limitations and exceed those or expand i would say those limitations moving forward but that should be by you challenging yourself based on the patterns and based on the current achievements rather than to jumping into new stuff that you have no idea whatsoever how to tackle them that is especially true if we're talking about career development do not undertake a project that you are yet to learn how to do it do not undertake a client that you know nothing about do not undertake a sale that it kind of seems shady and it doesn't uh, rely on on things that you already know and etc etc only go for the known only go for the thing that you are competent on rather than for something that you just find interesting and you have no clear clue how you're going to do it from now on but you know you you may think that you're going to get the hang of it while that's a good strategy sometimes not for you not for this week aside from them for that uh, it won't hurt you bragging a little bit about your previous achievements that may earn you some rewards all right things that you were underappreciated for back in the past now you do have a second chance to to get to get what you have deserved back then all right and uh, also what those cards here are pointing is that you shouldn't abandon your uh, your original vision you should not abandon your original anticipation nor a plan for these whatever expectations you do have about accomplishments throughout the week itself they are to be should you s follow the plan that leads toward those accomplishments those accomplishments are to take place that will put you in a state of peak of experience and as well again is going to earn you rewards is going to earn you recognition in generally very very good week is ahead of you should you not work for somebody else but work for yourself to make yourself happy not somebody else is happy i know it sounds selfish normally i'm not like that either but i'm here to tell you what the card says not how the code of conduct is okay so this is the card says probably that puts you outside of your comfort zone probably something that you may hate yourself over but if you do want to gift your happiness to someone else just to feel yourself better be my guest and do it you want to be successful well you have to think first and foremost for yourself throughout this week okay and the last one here, that will be the uh, Six of uh, Pentacles, which is how the week ends. And uh, that is a, uh, uh, that just supplements what I just said. Now look at the card. I mean, just look at the card. Who you want to be, okay, at the end of the week. Do you want to be that guy here, the rich one who does have the means 
and holds the balance in his head in his hand do you want to be the bagger all right which one do you want to be i gave you the recipe of if you want to be the um the rich man should you want to be the bagger just gift your happiness and, and success to somebody else uh, it's, it's all that you gotta do and the thing with the high priest is what that card really point here is that whichever you end up at the end of the week is going to be long lasting thing okay it's just it's it's something that you may not have a chance to change for years to come so to me this is a very important week for you if you have to settle scores settle them right now because you may not have the chance in the real in the near future to do it so um and uh, after that things are gonna go their natural direction meaning that should you end up the rich the rich guy money are gonna find you should you end should you end up as the as the bagger uh poverty is gonna find you and i'm not talking about literally i'm talking about as well figuratively you end up gifting your love to someone else while well, then deprived of love you're going to be you end up gifting you know your chance of success to someone else well then um i don't know what is uh, the opposite of successful person i know but it's uh it's a really nasty word so i'm not gonna use it here but thus you are going to be okay you lend your will to somebody else well poor you are going to be okay so no charity is, is allowed throughout the week at least not for you you have the power, use it, okay? So that being said, Libra, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys, for the upcoming week, October 5th to October 11th, 2020. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you liked it. And should you want to contact me about private reading or you want to take participation into my tarot classes, uh, all the information you need is written in the description down below. So uh, that being said, hopefully we're going to see each other around. And until then, bye-bye.